different is this year's camp for you after what you've accomplished last season? Uh, I don't think the mindset changed. I mean, all the quarterbacks, everybody's out here competing. Um, I think Mullen did a great job of just saying that, you know, he wants everybody to know no spots are, no spots are given, you know, no matter how big of an uh, impact you are on the team from last season, it doesn't matter. You know, everybody's coming out here just, you know, fighting for a spot, and that's what makes football fun. You come out here and you just compete, and, uh, you know, it ultimately gets you each, each everybody, everybody better. So uh, it's, it, that's the funnest way to do it. But you seem more confident now than you did a year ago. Is that fair? Uh, I mean, yeah, I just try to always build my confidence up. I mean, from year to year, week to week. Um, this will be my fourth spring, so uh, I feel like just becoming more mature and, um, you know, especially with this offense, second year in this offense, it's just it's becoming more fun, you know, when you get a hang of stuff like that and you're able to play freely. So. Your fourth spring? Fourth. You're getting old. I know. <laughs> I know. I remember we asked you to reflect on kind of your journey as far as the top year with McIlwain and then, you know, kind of getting over – the Missouri game, and this is after the Peach Bowl I'm talking about. So as you reflect now, you know, how do you kind of think about your journey as a whole? Uh, it's been unique. Uh, it hasn't been like a lot of people's where it's either just, you know, straight success or, you know, mine's been kind of bumpy. Um, but ultimately that makes me who I am. Um, you know, it humbled me um, coming out of high school, big recruit, and then, you know, coming here and, you know, not doing too good when I very first got here to now. And, you know, it just humbled me matured me at a young age and um, you know it's just, it continues to mature me and you know helps me become a better player just learning from what I've did wrong in my past and just ultimately you know helping me become a better quarterback each and every day so you said you, said you had to do that a lot last offseason as well just kind of put that first season behind you what did you do this past offseason um I think just try to build off just try to build off last season um, you know took what I did good and ran with it and then you know what I did wrong just try to go back and reflect it with coach Johnson and coach Mullen and uh, they did a great job of just helping me and all the other quarterbacks. Just, you know, when you watch film, especially with Emory and, and Jalen and all the Kyle, you know, they're watching what I'm doing wrong from last season, all the, you know, the reps of what I did wrong. And then they can learn from it. And, uh, you know, you never want to make the same mistake twice. And I think that's the best part about it. You know, everybody can learn from my mistakes of what I did. And, um, you know, that's, that's the best part about it. That's, that's it. Mullen said it's an open competition, uh, for not just quarterback, all positions. How does yeah. that make you feel? Uh, I don't know what kind of answer do you want. It doesn't matter. I like to compete. It's, it's same thing. Like I said, the mindset hasn't changed for not me, for any of these guys. We come out here and we compete. Uh, everybody knows that. You know, you come out here to earn a spot. Nothing's given to you. Um, and you know, like he said, you know, you don't want it that way. You know, if you want it that way, you're not a competitor. And uh, that's the funnest part about playing football. You want to compete each and every day against you know the best of the best. That's why you come to Florida. So. Um, you know, I haven't, but um, you know, it's something that I always try to perfect. You know, I don't want to ever mess with it during, um, you know, when I'm out here trying to, you know, compete and just try to, you know, stuff like that. But you know, when I was in the off season, excuse me, my bad. But when I was in the off season, you know, something that I always try to just tighten up. And I'm a long guy, so it's not always going to be as tight as others. But um, you know, just trying to tighten it up and, and get the ball out my hands quickly. And so it's always something I want to work on. But in, in terms of the deep ball, it looks like you're maybe putting a little more loft on it? Is that just me looking at the- Uh, It's kind of what the defense is giving me. So okay. if I need to put a little air on it, I'll put it on it. But <laughs> if I need to drive it, I'll try to drive it. So how was the second off season under Nick Savage? And maybe different than year one? No, nah, it was great. I mean, I'm always trying to get bigger, faster, stronger. Um, you know, I'm a big fan. I mean, Coach Savage is like, that's my boy. And I, I love the way he does his program. You know, when it's time to work, you know, it's time to work. But you know, when he can be your friend, and uh, he can also get on to you, you know, that's the type of coach that I've always liked. And um, ultimately, he's just going to make you a better player, you know, bigger, faster, stronger, take hits, put weight on. So all the freshmen that are coming in, you can already see people starting to evolve into their bodies and stuff just in the little time they've been here. So he does a great job of that, just getting people prepared to play. We heard other war stories last year about how tough it was and how the gains you guys made. I'm sure that helped you guys on the field last season. How do yeah. you take a jump though and make it even, you know, raise the bar even more? Yeah, I mean, in the way I think the weight room has to do with everything you do on the football field. I mean, you know, if like last year I was around, like I mean, I would fluctuate from 230 to not last year, but the year before that from 230 to 225. But um, you know, playing at 240, 245, I mean, I just feel more confident when I run the ball. I mean, it all plays a part, and you know, the whole thing is just the process, whether it's in the weight room, the film room, out here on the field. Everything correlates, and um, you know, with him being, you know, what he does, it just helps me be more confident. You know, when I'm running the ball, being bigger, and you know, being able to stay in the pocket and deliver the ball, so taking hits. Even with the guy, you lost. Go ahead. What kind of weapon is Lucas Cole developing into? Yeah, I think Scott's doing a great job with all the tight. I mean, with, with all the tight ends, I mean, 
they're all developing. You know, we lost Deontay, Morrow, and RJ last year. Uh, all great leaders, all great players, and um, you know, they're all doing a great job of things, just stepping up and uh, playing their role. You know, everybody has a role on the team. You know, whether you're sitting on the bench and you're cheering people on, or you're on the field playing. You know, everybody has a role, and you know, they're doing a great job of filling their roles from opposed to last season. So. You mentioned those guys uh, leaving. Do you think you've taken on more of a leadership role in the offense coming into your rest junior year? Um, I try to. I mean, I just try to play my part. Um, you know, definitely try to lead people in the right direction. Uh, like I said, I've had a bumpy road since I've been here. Um, and, you know, people learn from my wrongs. You know, uh, I've always tried to be level-headed. You know, even when things are going, you know, not my way. But you know, I always, I've always hoped that you know the younger guys that are coming in can always just learn from you know my mistakes. Or what I do. So if I'm out there and I, you know, I throw an interception or I do something like that, I don't want, you know, Jalen Jones or Emory to do the same mistake that I just made. You know, hopefully they can always just take something from what I'm doing. So. What were the younger guys? Or all the guys you lost to the NFL? Not, I mean, five guys, but. Mm. Um, and then the other guys. Does it still feel like an older team because you've got the P Ryan's and the Hammonds and, and you and Reese? And yeah, yeah. I mean, we have a lot of guys on the team that are, you know, super mature. And, um, you know, they've been through this process a bunch and uh, have a lot of, you know, field playing time and they know what to expect. They know how to prepare for games and they know how to help, uh, you know, each guy in their position groups. So, you know, we have a mature guy. I feel like in each position group, whether it be O-line, we have Hagee, Nick, Nick Buchanan, and, um, you know, at each position group, you know, they have guys there to help the younger guys get ready and prepare for games in the season and stuff like that. So what should Looking expectations back. be this season? Expectations be? Um, I mean, you know, you don't want them to be low, do you? I mean, I want a championship. I want a ring. Yeah. So that's 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 what I want. Are you guys talking about that? Uh, I mean, that's not the focus right now. Right this second, we're just working on, you know, getting the playbook down. The younger guys getting the playbook down. But ultimately, that's the goal, just get a ring. Looking back, what did the South? Em you were here last year when Emory was a true freshman, going through everything. Mm -hmm. How different is he now, this spring, compared to them? He's developing. I mean, uh, I mean, you guys, uh, I mean, you, you can see it, you know, just the way he plays more confident. That just comes with repetition, repetition. And, you know, Jalen's going to get the same way when he gets all those reps. You know, next year coming up, he's going to be coming into camp a lot more confident than he was this year. I mean, you know, so it's just it's all about, uh, you know, the timing. And, you know, you never want to rush somebody's timing and when they're going to be ready or not. Um, it's just all about, you know, waiting your, t waiting, you know, your time. And when you're ready, you're ready. And, um, you know, that's what it's all about, just, you know, preparing like you're the starter at all times. And, you know, when it's your time to go, go. Two Looking back, guys. what did the South Carolina game do for you? That seemed like kind of a turning point for you in some way. Yeah, I mean, um, I think it was a turning point for our whole team. You know, just the momentum that we brought into that game, uh, coming back from that big, you know, that big deficit, uh, just, you know, having that turning point and being able to, you know, get that momentum going into the next couple games and uh, just finish out the season the right way. I think he just helped us with all that. All those games just helped us with the momentum coming into this offseason. You know, guys coming in with more confidence and stuff like that. So it's all, it's all, it all plays a big role into people's development. Last one. How does it feel to be the mature guy in your unit? Uh, it's different. Um, you know, I've always been the big kid. Um, I mean, but it's just kind of kind of settling down now, you know, just trying to help. Um, you know, from when, I, when, I, when it's my turn to leave Florida, um, you know, I just want to leave it better than when I came. You know, I want to be a, you know, a mentor to the to the guys that you know. Just, I didn't. Nah, I don't want to say that, but you know, I just want to be a better. I just want to leave the place better than I, you know, I came. So that's ultimately what I want to do, and just help the younger guys. So when it's time, their time to hit the field, and I'm gone, I have something to come back and watch, and it's it's always something fun to watch. And I can say that you know I know them and stuff like that. So just trying to be a just trying to be a helpful person, be a leader. So.